Hello, my name is Chad Falk, and today I'll be discussing with you the effects of added zinc in diets with ractosamine hydrochloride on growth performance and carcass characteristics of finishing pigs. I would like to start out by thanking Alanco Animal Health for their partial financial support, as well as Michigan State University. Dr. Hill at Michigan State allowed me to come up and do some lab work uh, in her facilities, and it was a great learning experience. So for an introduction, added zinc to diets containing ractopamine has been shown to improve finishing pigs' performance. However, there has been a variability in this response. Sometimes there is improvement in average daily gain, while others there is an improvement in gain to feed, and sometimes there is no response at all. Multiple sources of added zinc have been tested, and these consist of two groups, first being the zinc amino acid complex, and your two sources of your amino acid complex could either be Avela Zinc, which is provided by Zenpro, or Bioplex, which is provided by Alte. Then you have two inorganic sources of zinc, one being zinc sulfate, and the second being zinc oxide. Previous research has been conducted to determine the effect of added zinc on the response to ractopamine hydrochloride. Since 2011, there have been 13 studies conducted, with the majority of these studies um, being presented at the Midwest Animal Science Meeting. In these studies, basal zinc levels ranged anywhere from 0 to 110 parts per million. These zinc, were provided, these zinc levels were provided by the trace mineral premix, and then added zinc levels were provided either by the zinc amino acid complex or your inorganic zinc sources. Added levels range anywhere from 25 to 500 parts per million for the zinc amino acid complex and 25 to 150 parts per million for the inorganic zinc sources. It is important to point out that all of the diets that will be discussed did contain ractopamine hydrochloride ranging from 2.5 to 10 parts per million. As for average daily gain, to set up my graph, we have average daily gain in kilograms per day on the x-axis, and then the experiments conducted on the y-axis. Once again, all of the diets that are discussed did contain ractopamine hydrochloride, and then the treatment bars are represented as the ractopamine diet with no added zinc is the blue bar. The ractopamine diet with added zinc from the zinc amino acid complex is the red bar. A majority of these red bars are from Zenpro's Avela Zinc product in all studies except for the Goenlock study. In the Goenlock study in 2013, they used Bioplex. <clears throat> And the green bars represent inorganic zinc added from either zinc oxide or zinc sulfate. In 2011, the first study conducted by Aki uh, at a commercial facility did show an improvement in added or tendency for improvement when added zinc was added to ractopamine diets. And then Paul and all in 2013 also showed a trend for improvement when added zinc. Uh, when Avela zinc was added to the ractopamine diets. Also, Rambo et al. and Patience et al. in 2012 and 2011 determined the effects of Avela zinc versus zinc sulfate or zinc oxide in ractopamine diets, and they determined an improvement in average daily gain when zinc was added to the diet. However, these experiments did not have a control with no added zinc, so inference can only be made on the two zinc sources. As for gain to feed, I have a very similar slide with added zinc to ractopamine diets, improving gain to feed in three of the studies, Aki et al. 2011, Fry et al. 2013, and Polk et al in 2013. The PALK study 
demonstrated a linear increase when up to 150 parts per million added zinc from zinc oxide was fed in ractopamine diets. And the Fry study showed that added zinc, the Fry and Aki study both demonstrated improvements in added zinc over just the ractopamine control. In addition, Rambo et al. in 2012 showed an improvement in the veil of zinc versus zinc oxide. Once again, there was no ractopamine control, and therefore we cannot make inference on the response to added zinc to ractopamine. However, a veil of zinc did improve in performance compared to zinc oxide. Therefore, there have been studies that demonstrated improvements in performance when adding zinc to the ractopamine diet. However, uh, this response is inconsistent and we wanted to, to conduct the experiment to determine the effects of added zinc from either zinc oxide or avela zinc on growth performance and carcass characteristics of finishing pig fed ractopamine. There were 320 finishing pigs. They were PIC 327 by 1050s. There were 20 pins per treatment with two barrows or two gilts per pin. Initially, they weighed 98 kilograms, and this was a 35-day study. Pins did contain a single holes dry self feeder, a nipple wa and a nipple water to provide ab libitum access to feed and water. For our dietary treatments, we had a control diet that was formulated to 0.66% SID lysine and then a ractopamine diet that had 10 parts per million ractopamine added and the diet was formulated to 0.92% SID lysine. For our zinc treatments, we increased the zinc level from 75 to 225 parts per million added zinc from either zinc oxide or veil of zinc. The added zinc treatments were all conducted within the ractopamine treatment. So we had the ractopamine diet within either our, with our added zinc source and added zinc level. All diets contained 55 parts per million zinc from zinc sulfate and this was provided by the mineral premix. Our diet composition, it was a basic corn soy diet with synthetic amino acids added to the ractopamine treatment. Phytase was included in the diet for 0.1% release of available phosphorus and then ractopamine was added in the ractopamine treatments at 10 parts per million. Also it's important to remember that a trace mineral premix did provide 55 parts per million of zinc from zinc sulfate. All treatments were added. Added zinc was added in the uh, place of corn, so therefore we removed corn and added zinc from either zinc oxide or avela zinc. Diets were analyzed for ractopamine with the control being analyzed at less than 2.5 and then the ractopamine diets all being analyzed close to 10 parts per million. Our zinc levels were, we have on this slide the zinc analyzed values and then the bottom is the zinc expected values. As you can see the analyzed values were similar to those of the expected values. For our statistical analysis, data was analyzed as a generalized randomized complete block design using the mixed procedure SAS. PIM was an experimental unit, dietary treatment was a fixed effect, and gender group and barn were included as random blocking factors. Our contrast statements that will be discussed throughout the rest of the presentation are the control versus the positive control or the ractopamine diet the zinc level by source interactions and it is important to mention that there were no zinc level by source interactions throughout the growth performance and carcass characteristics therefore I will just discuss zinc effects 
which were determined using linear and quadratic polynomials, and zinc oxide versus vela zinc. As for average daily gain, the treatments are on the x-axis. First, throughout the presentation, I will discuss the control versus the ractopamine diet, and then I will discuss the effects of added zinc, which we had the ractopamine diet with zero parts per million added zinc, then 75, 150, and 225 parts per million added zinc. This was completed using either zinc oxide, which will be represented by the gray bars, or a veil of zinc, which is represented by the green bars. It is important to remember all of the added zinc treatments were added, all the added zinc were, was added to the ractopamine diet. As for average daily gain, as expected, racto pigs fed the ractopamine diet had increased average daily gain. There's approximately 11% improvement in average daily gain. As zinc was added to the ractopamine diet, there was no difference in average daily gain, and there was no zinc source effect. For average daily feed intake, pigs fed the ractopamine diet had decreased average daily feed intake for the 35 day experiment and added zinc. There was no difference in average daily feed intake of pigs fed increasing levels of added zinc or zinc source. For gain to feed, as expected, there was an increase in gain to feed when pigs were fed diets containing ractopamine, and there was no zinc effect for gain to feed. Now moving on to our carcass characteristics response criteria. First, for a hot carcass weight, pigs fed the ractopamine diet had increased hot carcass weight compared to those fed the control diet. Increasing levels of added zinc did not affect hot carcass wake, w weight and there was no zinc source effect. Percentage yield, there was no difference in yield when pigs were fed ractopamine at P equals 0.12 and there was no difference in yield when zinc was added to the diet and there was no zinc source effect. Pigs fed ractopamine had decreased back fat thickness compared to those fed the control diet. There was no difference in back fat thickness as added zinc was increased or no zinc source effect. Pigs fed the ractopamine diet had increased loin depth compared to those fed the control. And added zinc to the diet did not influence loin depth. Therefore, with the decreases in back fat thickness and the increases in loin depth, pigs fed the ractopamine diet had an increase in percentage lean compared to those fed the control. And increasing added zinc level did not influence percent lean and there was no zinc source effect. Therefore we can conclude that as expected ractopamine did increase average daily gain, gain to feed, hot carcass weight, loin depth, and percentage lean. Added zinc to the ractopamine diets did not influence growth performance or carcass characteristics. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.